Hey everyone, my name is David Dunbar, the theme park evangelist. I am wearing my old pair of glasses, so I'm not really surprised that uh, I have a lot of uh, like purple, blue glare from the uh, phone in my uh, glasses. I'm like, oh yeah, these glasses don't have that, versus my new ones do. Unfortunately, my uh, new ones seem to have an issue with um whatever you call it just either being too tight or too loose so i did get good news um all the uh, medical offices are reopening as of uh, next monday and going back to accepting appointments again uh without going through all the uh, rigmarole war i guess you could say so yeah, I'm really excited. I'm really happy that um, I get to uh, take my glasses back into uh, my eye doctor next Monday. I might have to borrow my parents' car, and I'm going to get to that in just a second. So, yeah, as you can tell, I'm in my car. Yes, I did just get it fixed, but I just got some really good news this evening. Um, well, this afternoon, to be specific. I was... Uh, texted by the uh, same guy who uh, fixed my uh, car back a week or two ago. I don't remember when it was. Uh, shortly after I got the um, oh, stimulus check, that's right. So he texted me and he said, hey, I got an estimate on how much it would cost to fix the uh, front of your car, which of course I uh, hit a parking garage column at Disney Springs back in June 2017. I accidentally put the car in drive, not reverse. And even though I didn't put my foot on the uh, gas, the car still went crunch right into the uh, parking garage column. And I'm like, oops. <laughs> so, yeah, I put the car back in reverse, put the car in park, got out of the car, and I walked over and I was like, uh-oh. And I tried to hide it at first. Even TJ tried to help me hide it. Well, that didn't last, so... My parents ended up finding out eventually about it, and I realized, well, I guess I can't hide this forever, and I admitted it, and they were just like, yeah, I kind of expected that to happen, so in the long run, I end up just driving around with this big dent in the front of my car for like about three years, as crazy as it is, and I did talk to at least three to five mechanics over the years and each of them quoted me about a thousand dollars because it's pretty bad and now i finally have talked to somebody at um the same guy that is that um fixed my car last time for only seven hundred dollars and the car has been running a lot better he only quoted me 310 i was ready to cry i've never heard of anything so cheap in my life i was like are you serious right now? Like, whoa, that's pretty good. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I'm, I'm actually very happy about that. And also, I should mention, I did get my phone back, obviously, because I did use the same exact phone to vlog the NBA Finals. So that's awesome. That's really awesome. I will uh, do another um, coronavirus update because... Uh, as you guys did hear, all the medical offices are reopening as of next Monday. Also, the state is starting to require um, the uh, wearing of face masks when you're out in public. Obviously, if you're not, if you're in your car, if you're at your home, it doesn't count. Uh, all non-retail, well, how should I put this? All non-essential retail is what I meant to say are reopening as of next Monday as well. So that means that Best Buy would be allowing customers inside the store again, which would be really, really cool. So at least we would be able to go back in places like that. Um, I heard that also this month, uh, they're going to start doing horse racing again without fans. Also, uh, they're going to start um, allowing uh, churches to reopen. So finally... For the first time in a few months, I'll be able to uh, go back to having people in the church again, which would be really cool. And because 
uh, the fact that uh, medical offices are reopening. I'm actually going to finally get my dentist appointment. It only, or I only had to wait an additional two months, so yeah, it just means that by the time I actually have it, I'll probably end up having my other dentist appointment for the year in the month of December. Sorry, it's like had a little bit of a hiccup there. And I think the other thing that's supposed to happen this month is, um, I know I know it, but I don't really, oh yeah, I think hardware stores is supposed to reopen. I think they're starting to allow construction. As far as phase two, I've been told that daycares could possibly reopen by next month and movie theaters for sure are reopening next month. I don't know anything about the sit-down restaurants that they're going to start allowing dining in again starting next month. Uh, Florida's, uh, of course, reopening faster, but that's another story for another time. But the main reason why I wanted to talk to you guys, I wanted to tell you uh, what I did for Star Wars Day this year versus what I did for Star Wars Day last year. So for those of you guys who were wondering why it took me so long to get to this point, obviously there's a lot to talk about. Um, and I will, of course, mention and the title of the vlog what's been going on with me recently and what I did for Star Wars Day this year. So, I'm going to put down the description, of course, that I wanted to talk to you guys about what I did for Star Wars Day this year versus what I ha have done for Star Wars Day in the past. So, I've only really had one other decent Star Wars Day over the years. Um, and, of course, I was back in my old house in Central Florida, and that was at Disney's Hollywood Studios at Star Wars Weekend. So I do have a surprise for you guys uh, this month because of uh, Star Wars Day. I figured that you guys would like to hear, or, well, not just hear, but hear and see all the cool adventures that my brother and I have had, and maybe even a few friends of ours, at Disney's Hollywood Studios um, during Star Wars Weekends, starting at the very first year that I ever attended, to the very f last year that it was ever held. I didn't start going right away. I think the very first year I went was in 2009, and then I took a few years off, and then I went every single year until it was discontinued in 2014. I kind of wish I had gone every single year since 2009. Of course, it was harder for me to stop going to food and wine festival considering i was going every single year since 2007 so that would have been 12 years in a row i had attended before i was like well there goes that i did get at least a taste of uh flower and garden so hey at least i've been can say i've done that for 13 years in a row <laughs> anyway um so yeah honestly uh the star wars weekends was probably the only other best Star Wars Day experience I've ever had. I know for a fact that was one of the years that I did go and uh, we watched a show and there was a uh, picture of the Muppets and I decided to be stupid and do a, a really big stupid grin with Animal just because I was in one of my dumb moods that day. Uh, Star Wars Weekends was always one of my favorite Disney events of all time. It's too bad that Disney had to get rid of it just because they wanted to make uh, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. And that's the reason why Star Wars Weekends is no longer a thing. That way they got Star Wars Day every day. That was their reason for it. And then, um, of course, as far as um, what was the other Star Wars Day that I really enjoyed? Well, that was yesterday. I did try to do something for Star Wars Day about three years ago. And it just didn't work the way I expected to. Like, I tried to put on the Star Wars, the original trilogy for my friends. Uh, one of them was at least watching it. That would be been K. TJ claims that he likes Star Wars. I just don't really see how, considering I remember um, I was going off to college to do my last final, which, of course, I was told 
I had to do on May the 4th, 2017, which was my graduation day, by the way, my college graduation. And I was like, really? Is it fair that I have to do my final on my graduation day? And I have a friend here all the way from Jacksonville. Like, are you serious right now? And the basically the professor said to me, I could either do it that day, which I really didn't have a choice. It had to be that day. I couldn't do it any earlier. Just because I was a graduate didn't give me an excuse. Or I could skip it and take a grade drop. And she gave me one of those looks like, you better pick the right choice. And I was like, well, dang it, you put me in a tough spot. I guess I'll go with the correct choice. I was not really happy about it. But I did it anyway. And I was already in a bad mood considering I had gotten rear-ended like almost a week ago. Actually, it was a week ago, if I remember correctly, at the time. And it was at a notorious stop sign that nobody ever likes to stop at. Uh, not too far from my house on top of that. So, yeah, I had already dealt with that. And that was actually the day that she had told me that I had to take my final on my graduation day. So I was really mad about it that day. More so than my actual graduation day. By my graduation day, I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm, I just don't really care anymore. I really just don't. And I got back from my graduate. Sorry, not my graduation. I got back from... Uh, whatever you call it. <sighs> oh, yeah. I got back from my final, and TJ had fallen asleep watching the Star Wars movie. I'm like, what the heck, man? <laughs> like, are you serious right now? <laughs> and I remember Artem, you know, like, you remember Artem, YouTuber Artem D, guys? Uh, he was at uh, uh, my house that same exact day. I had picked him up earlier that day, and I even showed him my, where my where I worked at the time. I would love to show more work now, but you know, it depends on whenever he comes to visit me. I would love that. I would love to show him the area. I know a lot of people would like to meet him. I've shown so many people where I work even now, which is su surprising considering I haven't even been here a year yet. So I'm like, yeah, I'm actually quite impressed. All right. Here is how I spent Star Wars Day this year. You guys already heard how I spent it over the years. You guys already heard that I did Star Wars weekends on uh, Star Wars Day back a number of years ago. But I think this year was my favorite. So I woke up about 9.30 in the morning yesterday and I immediately uh, went to the bathroom to take a shower and I put on some Star Wars music. And... You know, I got, after, while I was getting ready, my dad made a comment. Why does it feel like Star Wars Weekends around here? Well, I honestly was trying to make it feel like Star Wars Weekends yesterday at my house. I really was. So, um, I put on my uh, Star Wars, uh, one of my Star Wars shirts, I should say. Uh, it was a Boba Fett shirt, actually. Uh, I think my brother had an extra one for whatever reason, and he decided to give it to me. I'm like, oh, cool. So I uh, put it on, of course, and I'm trying to remember what I did next. Sorry, um, I know it's only been a day, but oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I went and played Star Wars Galactic Battlegrounds. You guys remember that's an old school game from like many years ago, back in the 90s, after I uh, got my blueberry muffin ready and my hot cup of coffee. So I just, you know, sitting there, I decided, well, I haven't played this game in quite a while. I, it's maybe been several months, not too long, because my dad has had it for a while and actually runs really well on his computer, which is surprising, considering it's a uh, Windows 10. You know, when I'm sitting there playing the game, I put it on the easiest mode possibility. Probably not a good idea. And I also should mention I did cheat up a storm because... I'm not really good at strategy games. I love strategy, which is really weird that I would uh, cheat. Well, I sh how should I put this? I love playing strategy, yet I suck at strategy. So where's the logic there? So then I cheat, which makes no sense. So, you know, it's one of those things like, really, David? Really? Like, why do you play like that? Anyway, um, so I finished playing that. Then my brother came out of uh, the dungeon, I like to call the basement. 
because he's like always down there. And he asked me, so David, you're going to watch the uh, two hour Star Wars finale with Dad and I later? And of course, I'm thinking to myself, what Star Wars finale? And as soon as my brother started discussing it, oh, yeah, that's right. The uh, original Star Wars, The Clone Wars. I remember that. So back in 2003 or so, they made a uh, original Star Wars, The Clone Wars. This uh, took place uh, just before the new version we all know that Dave Filoni made. So that's another thing I did yesterday. And I did that um, several hours apart from each other. So, um, of course, right after, I think it was lunchtime or so, which I didn't eat anything during, actually, well, I didn't go, I didn't eat lunch right away because I had a, uh, early in a ish breakfast, I guess you could say. And I also went to Walmart, and then I decided to get one of those plate lunches from Walmart. We came back, and that's when we started watching the very first part, which was like the pile up. So, tons of action. My dad was like, What did I just watch? Like, oh, that was awful. And my brother was so disappointed. He's like, Oh, how could you not like that? Like, I'm offended right now. <laughs> so we went, my dad, my brother, well, not my brother, my dad, my mom, myself, and a little girl were watching, all went on a walk. We came back, and I spent time with the little girl, and my uh, brother came to me just before five and asked me if I was ready to watch the rest, and I was like, well, I'm with the little girl right now. Are you, like, are you kidding me? I have been ignoring her all day. So I made my brother wait. I did at least play a little bit of Jedi Knight Dark Forces 2 before I spent time with her. And then after the Bible study that my brother led last night, I uh, played a little bit more, ate my dinner, then I played even more. I got to level 3. I haven't played that game in a while either. I would say at least a year. So it was nice to go old school in that sense too. Uh, maybe it's been the same thing with Galactic Battlegrounds, but I don't remember. And then after that, um, I pulled my dad's computer chair into the, the, his bedroom. And uh, we, we finished watching the um, original Star Wars The Clone Wars, which my dad did say he liked that one better. Though he still didn't overly care for it. As much as my brother did, and even I like it. Then I... Um, Went downstairs and I got a head start on playing Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, which I've been working on for a while, actually. I'm on Nar Shaddaa right now, which is, of course, the first two levels of Dark Forces 2 is on Nar Shaddaa, kind of why I did that. My brother caught up after he washed the dishes, and I basically played that all the way till almost midnight. So I literally played or did nothing but Star Wars stuff. From the time I woke up at 9.30 in the morning until I went to bed at midnight, I woke up pretty tired this morning, but honestly, yesterday was an awesome day. It was nothing but Star Wars stuff. Sure, I didn't make any Star Wars-related snacks, but hey, I did have junk food yesterday. I drank tons of soda. And honestly, I didn't even want to go to work today after yesterday. I was like, I want to keep playing and partying. This is great. Of course, today is Cinco de Mayo, but... I don't care about Stinko de Mayo as much as I care about Star Wars Day. But if I hadn't planned on calling TJ on the way home and telling him about my work day, I would have listened to uh, Where Them Girls at by David Guetta and uh, Pitbull, but that's just me. Anyways, guys, I really hope you uh, enjoyed today's vlog. Really glad that my phone's fixed. Really glad that I'm going to get my car fixed even more. Sorry, I keep putting my hand in front of the camera. And I'm uh, really looking forward to doing that vlog on, um, sorry, lost my train of thought and I'm getting tired. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to uh, doing that vlog on uh, Star Wars Weekends and just sharing all my memories with you guys. Uh, every uh, picture and video I would have taken during Star Wars Weekends or that was Star Wars Weekends related in some way. Until then, I will see you guys in the next vlog. And always remember, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you.
Have a great night. Peace out.